What up? It's your big homie. No, I'm just playing. It's your boy, D'Anthony, coming back at you with another uh, review. So, um, start, we're going to start doing some little little B-list things going on. Uh, so, I watched this uh, Stink For You on Netflix, and I, I think you're going to agree with me and appreciate me reviewing this. You better. You better. Y'all better appreciate me. So, uh, just got through watching the stand-ups. Just got through watching the stand-ups on Netflix just came out mm, a couple days ago and just wanted to just to see what it was about um, it was it was pretty a big thing now we all know that Netflix is you know really into these stand-up comedians which I appreciate because I love stand-up comedy but doesn't mean that it, it doesn't need to get reviewed so let's get into it so it's six different stand-ups uh, each one is an episode so there's six episodes like a season or whatnot um, you get six different, uh, comedians and, uh, they all have about 30 minutes to, to, you know, of an act to show you that, that they're funny and you, and really that's all you pretty much get from me. At first I was like, oh, I don't know, six different episodes. I thought they were an hour at first, but they're only from 24 to 30 minutes. Uh, everyone gets a different time slot, but I was like, ah, I don't know about this, but 20 minutes is what I give. If you got an hour, I give you 20 minutes. If I have not chuckled within 20 minutes, I'm done. So I was able to get through uh, these, actually. Uh, so start off with the first guy that showed on the first episode, Nate Bargatze. Uh, I don't know. He was a very subtle, passive-aggressive type of comedian. You know, he's very, like, laid-back, sarcastic, um, but not like a lot of spunk or a lot of enthusiasm enthusiasm or not like a lot of energy he's real just laid back and like yeah so usually this is what happens you know so it's not really my type of comedian um i like them to you know have some real personality he didn't really have a lot of personality but maybe some people like that um he was just kind of more like you know the first year we go to a comedy club the first act really not that strong so First episode was like the first act really wasn't that strong. I only really chuckled a, a couple times. Um, I feel like that was the same thing for the audience. When the audience is clapping more than they're laughing, that just means you're not funny. They like what you said. It was a cool statement, but it's not really that funny. So I was glad when his was over. I'm just be honest. So let's get to the, the next one. Her name is a, a female, Fortune Femster. Um, she's fat, and she's gay, and not because that's how I feel, or that's that, that's my opinion, but that's pretty much what she talked about the whole time. She just talked about how she was fat and gay. She, she said lesbian sometimes, but she used gay a lot. Um, I don't know, that, I don't really care if you are or not. Are you funny? What's going on in your life? That you've experienced, that you wrote down, that was funny. So that kind of like, ah, uh, let's get past this a little bit. Did you okay? We get it. We get it. We get it. I can see you. Now she had more personality than the first guy. I will say that she was very enthusiastic. She seemed like she liked being up there. She's like, this is what she loves to do, and that's just probably who she is on and off stage so she had more personality but that's all she really talked about was her sexual preference and how big she is um and uh, unfortunately there aren't any like jokes that i really remember that she even really said um neither is the the, the first one um but i don't know i chuckled a, a few more times than the first guy but still really wasn't really my cup of tea uh, your sexual preference is not really funny to me. Like, if a guy got up there talking about he's, he's straight, I'm straight. I like women. Great, guy. Great. I'm glad you know who you are. Now let's get to the jokes. So then, we get the third one, in which I'm going to be honest, this is really why I even watched the whole series, because I wanted to see Dion Cole. He's one of my, uh, I don't want to say my favorite comedians, but he's one of the 
most intelligent comedians. He writes. I uh, love him on um, Blackish. I really want to see that other show he's on. Uh, what's the name of that show? Oh, I can't think of it. He's on another show. Um, you know, he's a very intelligent comedian to me. To me, he says things that I would never think of, but are just funny. Uh, so I couldn't wait to see him. Um, and, you know, he's a black guy. I'm the black guy. He's a black guy. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Let's go. But, <laughs> to be honest, I liked his one-hour stand-up much better than this one. Um, to me, he did it just to get paid, to get a paycheck, and to work on some jokes. Because what he said was, he had his little, that's what he does, his little spiel. So, I'm going to run through some jokes, and I'm going to see if they funny or not. Alright, here we go. And he says a joke, and they're just like one-liners. Maybe two. And then either you laugh or you don't. And if you look around and say, all right, I'm not going to use that. You know, that's a, that was his thing. So I feel like he just pretty much tested some jokes out and got paid. He didn't really have any stories. There wasn't like a story he was telling. It was just a bunch of jokes. And honestly, I like stories. I like to get captivated. Like, all right, where's the punchline at? Here it comes. Oh, did you hear that? That's what I like to get sucked in. It was just like one-liners that he was doing. And, I mean, they were cool. He was, to me, by far the funniest. But I didn't really laugh that hard either. I maybe laughed maybe a good two laughs. He had about 28 minutes. And, um, I don't know. This wasn't as strong as I would say. I feel like he's, like I said, I feel like he just got paid and he tested out some jokes. And that's pretty, that's pretty much, that's all he really did. He told you that. So, there you go. So then we got Nikki Glaser, and she had good personality. I will say that. She was all enthusiastic. You know, she kept my attention. Uh, but she really seemed like a newbie. She didn't seem like she should be the fourth one on the card. Uh, I, I think the newbie should go first because and this is how I, I consider someone a newbie or someone who just doesn't really care about their craft too much is if all they talk about is especially if it's a especially if it's a woman uh but guys too but if all they talk about is 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 pussy and vagina and titties and uh farts and stuff like that like ah i mean sure you know she talked about farts i know women fart that's a thing i'm not tripping but that's not really funny you know like i don't know i just don't want to hear about that type of stuff i it's just not to me as I like to think of myself as an intelligent guy, y'all might not think so, but I am. I know some stuff. I know a lot about a lot. Or do I know a little about a lot? I'm going to go with a lot about a lot. And I just like, I like to be, in, you know, captivated when I'm listening. I want to hear what's going on. How is this story any different from anyone else? And just, you know, talk about vaginas and farts is not really funny. Kind of like the reason why Ghostbusters, the new Ghostbusters wasn't funny. All women cast, they're all funny in their own right, but what they had as far as the script was just kind of garbage. A lot of, lot of uh, fart noises and, you know, genital type of comedy. And I'm like, ah, that's for kids. I mean, that's, kids think that's funny. You know, you talk about your body parts, that's funny to them. But I'm a grown-ass man. I know what body parts do. It's not funny. Um, so she seemed like a newbie to me. Yeah, I mean, she talked. I mean, she talked about tampons and farts and pussy and all. I'm like, ah. So at this point, I'm four comedians in. I've chuckled a few times. I've laughed a couple. But now we're talking about two hours. So I'm done. There's no need for me to see the last two. I'm going to be honest. So if you're curious about the last two, go ahead and watch it. But as far as a whole, I'm good. I really don't even know where they found these people at, except for Deion Cole. Um, but to me, they just weren't funny. They weren't, to me, weren't ready for something like this. But it's cool. I appreciate Netflix for giving people opportunities. I don't want them to take the opportunities away. Um... But I think you need to have some better comedians with better material in there as, as well as the newbies. 
as well as the newbies get them an opportunity. But a lot of these just seem like cats that was just kind of newbies. And to me, just wasn't the comedy that I'm used to. And then maybe because I just grew up on, I would just say, the greatest. And these comedians just don't add up. You know, so, you know, when I think of Richard Pryor, when I think of Eddie Murphy, Jamie Foxx, uh, Cat Williams. Yes, all my comedians are probably going to be black. But um, even uh, Sebastian Maniscalco, I think that's his name. Way funnier than any of them. Now, if he had been on there, oh, I'd have been having a good old time. Sebastian Man, Menescalco, something like that. Uh, look him up. He's funny as hell. Um, but to me, he, he's on par. Like, he's been doing this for a while. He got stories, and they're great. And, and Cat Williams got stories. Um, you know, like, everyone tells stories, and they're just funny. They're not telling jokes. And I don't want, I mean, jokes is cool. That's why I didn't really like Deion Coles too much. Like, jokes is cool. But I want to tell me your story. Tell me your hurt. Tell me your pain. You know, let me, let's laugh about something that we both can experience, that we both have gone through. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Uh, even George Carlin, I thought he was a, a great, intelligent uh, comedian. And I don't really believe in the stuff he believes in, but I thought he was a great comedian. You know, so when I think of greats, white or black, I don't think of these people. So if that's what you're looking for, now maybe, now I will say this, if you're high, this is gonna be the funniest shit ever. Because I've done that. But if you're not and you're sober, uh, this is not gonna be for you. You probably gonna turn it off. So that's my review, guys, of the stand-ups. They should have been sitting down watching some real stand-ups, but that's just my opinion. Uh, so please go ahead and like, share, subscribe, and comment. I want to know who's your favorite comedian because who would you or who haven't you seen that you would like to see? Uh, let me know, guys. Check out our other stuff on our, on our page. Check out our movie reviews, and uh, I will see you guys next time. All right, I'm your boy, DeAnthony. I'm out. Peace.